G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, and welcome to another video on editing Zeus Renewed. Today we are going to be adding in Volumetric Light. Now this is actually a personal favourite effect of mine, and I'm really quite happy to be able to show you all how to get it into Zeus Renewed. Now this is probably going to be a more uh, in-depth tutorial. It's going to be a lot more involved than some of the others. Uh, so I will try and make it as simple as possible to follow. And with that we'll get started. Alright, for this tutorial you'll need to download my volumetric light code. Which will be in a text document that you can find in the description of this video below. You'll also need to open Composite 2, Composite 3, as well as the Shader Properties. Alright, so with that we'll get started, and we need to come down first to line 74, which is just here. And we're going to hit Enter twice, and go back to line 75. With that, we are going to put in this Define just here. So Control and C. Now we're going to come down to line 98, which is just here, and we're going to replace this little bit on the end with this bit just here. Essentially we're adding in a alpha to this bit of coloring. And paste. Alright, now this little bit here is only for people who haven't put in the volumetric clouds. Alright, because we're going to be using the same sort of dither pattern that we're using for the volumetric clouds for the volumetric light. So all you have to do is go down to line 354 and put in this dither pattern. Now if you've already done that, which we're you know, sort of going through an order of the uh, videos, which means we've already done it in this version. So we're going to go down to line 2064. So scratch that will be line 2052. So I'll just really put that in 52. We're going to hit enter twice, go back to line 2053, and we're going to copy in this bit of code just to there. So copy and paste. Alright, with that we're going to go control G and we're going to go down to line 2430. We'll actually make that around there, I believe. So not 30, we'll make that 20. So with that, we're just going to copy this bit of code. Control C and Control V that in there. And then we need to come down to line 2436. So I'll just quickly change that for you. And we're going to replace the 1.0 with this bit here. So control C and paste. Alright, with that we can go save and we're going to come into composite 3 now. Alright, so with composite 3 we're going to come down to line 41. Then we're going to hit enter twice and go back to line 42. With that we are going to copy from there down to there. This will be setting up all the define so you can change the strength of it. So copy and paste. With that we're going to come down to line 64. Actually we'll come down to line 69. And we're just going to hit enter once and go back to 69 and we are going to paste in this. 
This will help filter the volumetric light. Alright, so next we need to come down to line 125. And we are going to paste in this bit of code just in here. And we'll hit enter to keep it nice and neat. Next we're going to go down to line 236, which I'm sure will be wrong because the numbers have been out a bit, which will be 241. Hit enter twice and we'll go back one. And we're just going to paste in this bit of code just here. So control C, control V. And we're going to go down to line 1097. Which once again it is out unfortunately, so I will change that, which will be 1113. Here we're going to hit enter twice and go back to 1114. And we're going to copy in this bit of code just here. Down to there. We're going to go copy and control V to paste it in there. Lastly, we will come down to line 1278 and we're going to hit enter twice and go back to line 279. And we're just going to copy in this little bit of code just here. Paste and we'll just clean that up. And with that, you can go save and we can check it out in Minecraft. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can then hit F3 and R to reload your shaders. And if you follow it along correctly, you will now have volumetric light. Now the volumetric light that I am using in this is actually from uh, Continuum. And there are actually two types that you can choose from when you go into the shader options, which we're going to set up right now. Alright, so in your shader properties, if you follow my previous tutorial, we'll have uh, the screen volumetric light already set up. So what we're going to do, I've added in just at the bottom here. So copy that bottom line of code. Control C, this is from the provided code that I'll be giving you. Highlight this little bit here and go control V. And that's it. You can go save and we can go back into Minecraft. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can do F3 and R to reload the shaders. And navigate your way to the shader options. In there, under tutorial options, and under volumetric light, you'll now have all your volumetric light settings. So this one here is to turn the volumetric light on and off. Uh, the continuum version will be on by default, or you, once you've turned it on, you can switch to the Zeus volumetric light. Underneath is a Zeus volumetric light strength, so you can increase or decrease it. And these ones here are for the default continuum version, which will give you your sunrise and sunset strength, your noon strength, your inside rays, which is when you're in buildings and such, nighttime and when you're in buildings at night. You guys can come in and play with these and see which you know how you like it. Um, essentially Sonic Eater's version handles a bit differently to continuums. Uh, from what I understand is the way that Sonic Ether has done it is that the strength of the biometric light increases the closer you look towards the sun and sort of you know decreases a bit when you look away that's my understanding it might not be the case uh, whereas by default continuums is all manually set so you basically manually set how much you want during the morning noon and inside buildings and at night so with that that's the end of the tutorial now 
Just a little announcement, this will be the last tutorial that I'm going to be doing for editing Zeus Renewed. I know there was other effects that I was going to be adding, uh, such as a, um, the lens flare as well as shifting rain. There was a couple of others I was playing with as well. However, the tutorial videos haven't been gaining a lot of momentum. And they do take a fair bit of my time to record, to type up and set up the code needed for you all to use to get this effect in, as well as the editing side of things. Now if you actually look back over the several uh, video tutorials that I've been doing, uh, you can actually start to see a pattern here, how little views that they are getting. Alright, the only one that's broke just over 500, we're up to about almost 750 views, was the Zeus V11 and renewed adding in of the rain uh, lens effect. Um, but even a lot of my other videos, like even um, you know my, some of my cinematics, have, haven't even reached a thousand views yet. Now, when you go back and look at, say, uh, my videos on editing Zeus V11, you can actually start to see, you know, I was getting over a thousand views for almost every video. Obviously, there was a couple of exceptions, but you know, three and a half, two thousand, two and a half thousand. And a lot of my cinematic videos back um, just over a year ago now were getting well into the thousands, you know, some of them quite high. And I just believe that it's a case of people moving on from shaders. Obviously, there's still the hardcore fan base, uh, but I did actually see a video which I'll link in the description. So in this video, this bloke here talks about how a lot of uh, Minecraft YouTubers are quitting. Um, it's probably a good watch. Uh, I do kind of agree with him. With a lot of things, uh, and considering that the Minecraft forums have like been dying down a lot, you're not hearing as much from a lot of the Minecraft shader developers anymore. Uh, it just leads me to believe that the hype for it has been dying down. It's not dead, obviously. Just another thing that I want to point out is with the lens flare. I know there's probably a lot of people that would have liked this. Unfortunately, there is a bit of a bug with it, which I haven't been able to uh, fix as of yet. I'm sure with more time, I would have eventually got it. Uh, but I simply just don't have the time for it anymore. And the problem that I've been seeing with it is that the lens flare does seem to break through blocks and you'll see it like as you can see here it's just sort of coming through like solid blocks All right you can see here the sun is actually behind all this dirt mound um, and the lens flare is sort of breaking through I'm not quite sure what this uh, problem is it's obviously something to do with the depth calculation uh, but this is the reason why I haven't actually gone ahead and made the lens flare tutorial because it is kind of broken uh, and with the shifting rain, you know, the rain in Minecraft uh, with Sonic Ether's new Zeus Renewed uh, is kind of hard to see. It's not the most, you know, easiest uh, rain to see. So shifting rain wouldn't make much difference there. Now, lastly, I just want to uh, let you know what texture pack that I'm using. Right, you can see here, these are the ones that I'm using. If I can find the uh, websites to them, I'll leave them in the description. Uh, so I'll do my best for you on that. Uh, unfortunately, these do not play very well with uh, Zeus Renewed. Um, his Sonic Ether's new specular doesn't play well with a lot of old uh, resource packs. So at the moment, I've turned specular map off and within the shader options, I'm just forcing the wet effect. So you still get, you know, a specular and the wet effect when it rains. Uh, but if you turn the specular map back on, you'll see how everything becomes real shiny, like metal sort of shine to everything. 
I've found this also with a couple of other texture packs. It is a bit unfortunate and I'm not sure of a fix as of yet. The only thing I can suggest if you're using texture packs that have old specular maps in them and you're getting this weird shine to them is to turn the specular map off to force it off through the actual shader mod. So that brings us to the end of this video. I am still going to be uh, making cinematics and you know some other Minecraft videos but just for now I'm holding up on any more uh, Zeus Renew tutorials if uh, it becomes more of an interest for them uh, get more requests so obviously I'll come back and make them because I enjoy making these uh, but just because of the lack of uh, interest at the moment I'm putting them on hold this is the last effect that we'll be adding to Zeus Renewed and yeah if you, if you enjoyed this video you like this effect and it was of some use to you please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll catch us all next time. Bye bye.